guys, how are you? Andy Suku Finance here, White Gate Credit Solutions. So today's a little different video. I actually, I actually just want to share something with you guys that happened yesterday at six o'clock when I was leaving the office. And um, it, it's very important because a lot of clients that I speak to throughout the day are, you know, you're looking for people to tell you what you want to hear when it comes to restoring your credit and fixing your financial mishaps. You're not looking to hear the truth and what you need to hear, you're looking for what you want to hear, all right? There's a difference, pay attention. Uh, and, and this situation that happened yesterday, I'm sharing it with you guys because it's a perfect example of how you guys are inundated with all this false information on social media and you're thinking that's how it works. So I'll give you a quick break now, I gotta make this video quick, right? So listen, I had a client I spoke to in January, 2021, did a consultation with him. Um, he called and said, listen, there's an account on his credit report from Lending Club that he did not open, and it's fraud. It was a loan for $25,000, right? I'm like, okay, well, how was the loan initiated? He said he doesn't know. Someone opened up the account, the loan, applied for the loan, they got the check, and our Lending Club is saying it's his responsibility. I'm like, okay, well, that doesn't sound correct, right? Because we all know to apply for a loan, whether it be chase a city lending club cabbage wherever you to do it online or in person so just listening to your conversation i know you did it online right so you apply for the loan online and then you're telling me that the check or however the loan was funded was funded in your name so where did the money go right um so after speaking to the client i was like listen that's not, that's not how what happened that's not what went down right uh and it has to be deemed as fraud you can't just say you can't just come out and say, hey, it's a fraud account on my credit report. There's three parties involved any time, and on any case when it comes to this. The client, the bank, and the credit bureaus. Always remember that. So there's three parties involved. So I was like, listen, that's not what happened and that's not how it works. But if that's what you're stating, if we re if you retain us for the work, it's how it's going to get done. One, we have to reach out to the creditors. We have to get the documents of how the loan was originated. In that document, they're also going to send us the contract. They're going to send us a copy of the check, when the check was cashed, where it was cashed. Right? Then we're going to bring that to you and present that data to you. And you're going to tell us if this is fraud. Right? Um, then he said, oh, okay, okay. Um, I told him the fee to retain us to do the work, to resolve it, yada, yada. He said he'll call us back. Never heard back from the guy. Right? Last night he calls me. He said, um, hey, Andy, you know, he set up his con station. He scheduled a consultation with me. I did the consultation for him. And um, I'm going to the report. And here's the thing. When you come to Y2K, please, please don't lie and say someone didn't work on your file prior to coming here. Because I'm able to see it in the credit bureau real time. And that really, really, it, it ticks me off because it, it's you're just bullshitting, right? It means you're not serious and you're wasting my time. Don't waste my time, right? So I asked him, I was like, who's working on your credit before? Um, he said, oh, he hired a company in Atlanta, um, and what they told him to do was, hey, go file a police report, send me the police report, and we're going to send it to the credit bureau as fraud. And this is going to lead into the next video I'm going to show, which is going to be on YouTube, about the process from the credit bureau says, standpoint and the process from my standpoint. Anyway, let's get back to the story. <clears throat> he filed a police report, filed a fake police report to begin with, right? Because it's not, what happened is not, what, why you file a report is not how to process transcribed so he files a police report they told him all right send me the report i'm going to submit it to the credit bureaus the credit bureau sent that report to the bank right because and you'll know if you send a police report um to the credit bureau they always send you a letter and say hey um make sure you notify the creditor right so this the, the credit bureau sent the report to the to the creditor lending club lending club went behind and called the bank got a copy of the check that was deposited so you're telling Lending Club, this is a fraud account, but they wrote a check to you and it was deposited in your account. Then the bank says, once the check cleared, the bank account was closed the next day. So now you deposit a check, took the money out and you close your account. How is this fraud, right? Now the, so the bank responded to the credit bureau. This is not fraud, it's the client's debt. Okay, so now it's not, <coughs> it's not working. The police report's not working. The 
the um, claim of it being fraud is not working. So what happened now, the credit bureau, not the credit bureau, the bank reached out after the precinct where he filed a report and they said, yeah, the police report was filed as fraud. They, and to make sure it was a legit report, the creditor told the police department it's not fraud. They submitted all the documents. Now the client's calling us, Andy, can you fix this credit first? And of course we can fix it. But because one, you're lying about it. Two, you knew about the debt. And three, why would you listen to someone that tells you, deposit a check in your account, take the money out, give me three grand, and then close the account? You don't think banks have paper trail? They all have paper trail, so why the fuck would you go do that? And then go file a fake police report. So now the issue he's having is, you committed a crime by filing a fake police report, and you're claiming a debt that's fraud. The reason I'm telling you guys this, this video, I'm talking to you guys about it, because that's the information that's inundated on social media. Everyone is on here posting, hey, if your credit starts with a two, three, four, five, call me. I'm fixing 25 single moms credit a day. And you guys are running to that bullshit. And that's why I say in the beginning, you don't want to, you only want to hear what you want to hear. You don't want to hear what the truth is about fixing the situation that you're in. And that's the problem. That's what la that's the issue we're having in this industry. And when you come into Y2K, we're telling you the process of how it gets done because listen, I'm not here. We're expensive, first off. We're expensive. But you're paying a prime rate for a reason. I'm never gonna be uh, apologetic for what we charge. Because there's a lot of work that goes into this stuff. And you know, everyone's case is different. Everyone, no, no two person case is ever gonna be the same. But again, we're not gonna take this client case just because of his dishonesty, just because of his wasting my time. And I he's screwed. Right? So the point is I, I'm just sharing this this video because this is what's going on in, in, in this credit space and in the financial world and this is what you guys are being fed and this is what you guys are believing. So if you you're telling me if you have a twenty five thousand dollar debt, pay me three grand, I make everything dismissed, like really? Like if is that e is that easy? So banks will have records. You open an account, we have a checking account that you had open for a couple of years. And they submitted six months of statement showing your payroll being deposited in there. So you didn't know $25,000 went into your account. So guys, wake up. All right. Um, anyway, talk to you guys soon. Have a great day.